I'm glad you could find time to join me today. This is Exceptional Women Show. I am Miriam Ogutu. My guest has come from the background of a researcher and environmentalist, and she decided to take a shift to politics. Uh, Sarah Sibiu. That's correct. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you. So from the world of research and environmentalist, mm -hmm. and now to politics, what a contrast. What advice do you move to join politics? Well, a lot of stuff did. Mm -hmm. And part of it is that we, c we have been complaining. You mm -hmm. know, every time there is an election and during uh, sitting members, until right up to the next elections, mm -hmm. people have, uh, have got a lot of stuff they are complaining about. Mm -hmm. So why sit on the sidewalk and complain? Why not get in there and change what you think is not right or is not um, working for you? Mm -hmm. So you're just tired of being passive and complaining, so you decided to come in and be passive. And of the hearing solution. people complain. Mm -hmm. We voted so and so, he has not done what he promised he will do. We voted so and so, she's no, she doesn't even you know, get to meet the people and understand the challenges they are going through and help us to solve problems. So if everybody coming in is not solving the problem that needs to be solved mm -hmm. so we can move on you can take up the position exactly. the positions of leadership so let me come in mm -hmm. show them that i can be different mm -hmm. and that i am um, I, I i can be able to walk the talk okay so offer them an alternative i leadership. want to offer them an alternative okay something they can be able to embrace mm -hmm. and be able to move with and hopefully all the complaining will end okay so what wakes Sarah every morning? What wakes me up every is the morning clock? is the fact that it is a new day mm -hmm. with new beginning mm -hmm. and new possibilities. Mm -hmm. And that in that moment, I can be able to bring about positive change, mm -hmm. if only in my corner of the world. Okay. So it's not the alarm clock. So mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning and you have a purpose. I have a purpose. Is that what drives you? That is what drives me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how, how can you uh, best describe you, yourself in a couple of words? I would say that I am a go-getter, mm -hmm. that I can, be, I can accomplish a lot mm -hmm. when I put my, my mind to it, mm -hmm. and I never take no for an answer. Okay. Mm -mm. So you're stubborn, but in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> I am stubborn, but in a good way, and I'm persistent, okay. Okay. also in a good way. All right. Very so patient. Oh, you're, you're very patient. Very patient. Uh, but once I get on my uh, my last nerve, yeah. we're done. So h how much should a person try your patience before you snap? Uh, well, I think... Actually, I was patient in something you for nine long years. Mm. Nine hard, miserable, long that, years. That sounds like a relationship. I mean, nine years. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it was, but the but bottom was line is that I kept years. giving it rope. Okay. Hoping that things will change. Things will change. Mm -hmm. It didn't. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So, wh what's your greatest strength as a leader and, and your weakness? My greatest strength, mm -hmm. I would say, that my ability mm -hmm. to look at things and know the answers. That is one. Mm -hmm. Because I can be able to look at this place for instance and tell you exactly what the problem is mm -hmm. and how to solve that problem okay. and that is what I'm bringing in with me mm -hmm. that I will be able to look at what is not working and my mind will be able to register that and, and figure then out a solution find out a solution okay and, and your weakness do you really want to know that Mm, I, I'm sure the, the, the residents of South Sea would want to know that. That is true. <laughs> I think my weakness is that I do not suffer fools. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I need to adjust that because not everyone is at par, mm -hmm. you know, and I do need to adjust that so that I'm able to be able to work with everybody at the same level. Okay. So what are some of the impediments you have, have you have faced in your quest to, you know, leadership? As a woman especially. As a woman, mm. well I think there are in there are numerous 
quite numerous. Do you think the challenges of women are unique compared to the male force? I think it is because first off, the, we still have that culture mm -hmm. we, where women should not speak. Oh, the places and people, women don't speak? Yes, and okay. people are, you know, disrespectful mm. to your face. Towards the women? Towards the women. Mm. Because you are a woman, you have no value, therefore you do not have to speak up. Okay. And people will speak to your face. Mm. Now, this doesn't happen in the field. It happens more with a, a certain clique of male candidates. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the male candidates. The male candidates. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are coming in with this like uh, megalomaniac, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like, mm -hmm. I am the, the... Very patriarchal. Yes, mm. I am the man. And chauvinist. Yes, mm -hmm. I am the man. So you shut up. Do not speak. Do not say anything. Like they, they do know, that on your face? They do that to your face. They do that to your face. People. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they do that to your face. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So you have to tell somebody do not disrespect me. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because you are probably disrespecting me, but your level of education is lacking. Mm -hmm. So what are you disrespecting? I'm just thinking if if they were well educated, Th they I think they will have a bit more courtesy better and yeah. better understanding, mm -hmm. you know, and and you know like um we are in the 21st century. So when I look at it from a political perspective mm -hmm. I'm looking at it like listen we no longer want so-called leaders mm -hmm. who are coming in with violence mm -hmm. we no longer want so-called leaders mm -hmm. who are coming in disrespecting others you know mm -hmm. we, we want if, if you are coming in as a leader let it also impact on your behavior okay and on how you you, you know you project yourself mm -hmm. Because you are not going to give me attitude mm -hmm. and expect you're going to be a good leader out there. Okay. Yeah? yeah? I'm not saying that you should be, you know, a carpet for people to walk all over you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that common courtesies, mm -hmm. they equal call... Equal respect. E calls for equal respect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, d just on that, do you, do you still feel that uh, the role of the women is still limited? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. In what regard? Because... Um, you know, first off, we want to look at who had represented us before. Didn't they think that there will be others who will be coming after them? So why couldn't they have made it easier for us? Mm -hmm. Kenya has been independent for 53 years. Mm -hmm. And yet, we are still at the bottom. We are still struggling on our own. And we are still alone in the wilderness right mm -hmm. because if they had been there and they had said you know what i speak for women i am here to represent women mm -hmm. and women we are saying this is how we want to be treated mm -hmm. as we come in at this moment in our time mm -hmm. we will have found a, a more receptive mm -hmm. you know uh, reception mm -hmm. but unfortunately that is not the case okay so do you do you stay at South Sea or why why do you want to represent uh, the people of South Sea? As I I stay in South Sea, mm -hmm. and I want to represent the people of South Sea because again, when we look, for instance, at health, there is only one government dispensary at Kongoni, mm -hmm. and yet South Sea has got eight polling stations. So when we say eight polling stations, you can imagine how wide the area is because it borders uh, Langata mm -hmm. on one side, South B on the other, Imara Daima on the other, and Kajiado on the other. Oh wow, it's quite that large. is how wide it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and there are so many shopping centers in there, but then they have put like one just one dispensary to cater for all of these people. Mm -hmm. You see, not everybody can be rich. Mm -hmm. And not everybody can be able to, to afford medical med private care. Private services. You understand? Mm -hmm. Private med, med care. Mm -hmm. So, what will hurt? Mm -hmm. If I'm coming in and I'm telling my people, listen, I will ensure, because this is in the budget, infrastructure, health, and water okay. they are all in the budget mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so i know this is already sorted mm -hmm. what will hurt if i come in and i tell my people listen we can get you a, a, a dispensary 
what will hurt if I come in and I tell them because listen children from KPA flats mm -hmm. they go to South B to a public school and we are talking young children there are so many roads in between to cross and it is such a long distance even for an adult to, to, to walk mm -hmm. and yet these children do that on a daily basis mm -hmm. and they go to class are they going to read or they'll be too exhausted so, so, so there are no government schools in South South. The South one South. government school is Kongoni Primary. Mm -hmm. All the so others, yes, all the others are private schools. Mm -hmm. So we want to get a, 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 a government school in the uh, South Sea, mm -hmm. at least let, let there be two. And we want to get a dispensary and a women's maternity. Okay. Yeah, because you are in labor. You are in labor mm -hmm. and you are wondering and you don't ha have enough money to go to a private hospital. Mm -hmm. You are wondering how you are going to walk all of that distance mm -hmm. because they go to Kenyatta or, or exactly. the dispensary. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we need to, 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 to protect our own, you know, and we need to make it easier mm -hmm. and safer mm -hmm. for them so that they are able to get that relief. Okay. We need to watch over our children. They are the next generation. So we don't want them to tire too soon before they get there because once they get there, they will be hardened and they will be miserable and they will make the wrong decisions. Okay. And you also mentioned water. Is it a problem? Is it a big problem? Major, in, in South major, sea? major problem. Tell us about and it. And you know, not just the South Sea. Mm. Water is a limited commodity. Where? Now I'm talking, I am talking as somebody who did natural resources management. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so water is a limited commodity. Mm -hmm. How does that start? Because we depend on seasonal rains, mm -hmm. and whatever water is harvested, mm -hmm. half of it is going to be utilized, the other half is going to evaporate. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm, I'm coming in with is this we are going to sensitize the importance of water harvesting, mm -hmm. including runoff. Mm -hmm. Then, this water is going to get treated. Once this water is treated, the newer houses that are going to be constructed will have two pipes, the old pipe and the new pipe for the runoff. Mm -hmm. So this runoff is going to be used in the bathrooms and in the, in the toilets. Mm -hmm. The older houses, we will be able to call a meeting with the stakeholders so that we entreat them to ensure they harvest as much water for, from the rooftops as possible so that now we are able to have enough water. Okay. When you, we look at water countrywide, I actually had come up with a concept that we put up a water treatment plant at mm -hmm. Boni Nature Reserve, mm -hmm. and then we take the Indian Ocean water, mm -hmm. and we treat this water using reverse osmosis, mm -hmm. and then we lay pipes into the interior. That water will last us 70 years. Oh wow. And reverse, everybody reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis. Okay. And everybody will have water irrespective of where they come from as long as they're in Kenya. Okay. So that's why we need uh, brains like this and leadership leadership positions. Thank you very much. We will continue with this conversation but first we have to take a short break. Sure. And when we come back I'm going to you going to tell us more about your 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 plans and you know the solutions uh, to some of the problems uh, plaguing mm -hmm. the residents of South Sea. Mm -hmm. Don't go too far. We'll be back in a bit. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Just in case you joined us, my guest is Sarah Simu. She is vying for member of County Assembly uh, South Sea. So Sarah, Karibu. Thank you. So what encourages Sarah? What, what really, um, where do you draw your strength? I draw my strength from the people I meet and they encourage me. And some of them say that I have very good poly uh, uh, agendas Agenda, yeah. that um, can transform their lives. That can transform their lives, mm -hmm. and that that is the reason I wake up every morning mm -hmm. to go out there and campaign. And campaign. Yeah. So, uh, so how do you balance your campaigns? Does does, does the campaigns because it requires a lot of time and sacrifice? Does it take away from your private life? Actually, or it you does. You've learned the balance. I right? have learned to balance. Okay. Yes. Okay. So 
Do you think uh, in Kenya today, the women are still um, have to work like extra, extra hard for them to even be promoted or for them to get the worth of whatever they're inputting, in, in, especially in the corporate world? Yes. Do we still have to prove our, ourselves? We still have to prove ourselves every single day and women still get paid less than the men and w some women still get compromised in order to get to the top. By compromise, you mean the sleepy way to the top or something? Definitely. Like that. Some of them do that, and that is very sad mm -hmm. because we are intelligent people. Absolutely. Just because we are women, it doesn't make us any less more, in, you know, any less intelligent uh -huh. than the men. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that we should be able to stoop that law mm -hmm. and uh, you know uh, lower our dignity mm -hmm. in uh, I in order for us to get what we need to get. Mm -hmm. We we can go under our own steam mm -hmm. and. I am going through this campaign by myself okay. without any support from anybody mm -hmm. other than the people on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I am not going to compromise myself mm -hmm. just so that I can get ahead okay. because I know no matter what, mm -hmm. I am going to get ahead. Okay. All right. I, I see the, the strength and the vigor. <laughs> so what, as a woman, what has been your biggest barrier, especially during these campaigns? Ah. Uh, finances mm -hmm. you know when we, when you look at the Kenyan structure mm -hmm. it's always the man who has the money yeah and then he shares what he will with w with a woman mm -hmm. but when you are uh, in a position where you do not have that man or if you have that man and he doesn't have a financial muscle mm -hmm. then it becomes an uphill task it's a challenge a, a very big challenge mm -hmm. so um when you look at it from the uh, female uh, perspective, perspective mm. especially w w with campaigning, women are going through a very, r very rough time mm -hmm. because you you have to juggle your family and your the, the finances that are needed for the family as well as for campaigning, and it's not easy. It's not easy. At it's, all. it's difficult. Mm -hmm. It's an uphill. Task. And you know, like the, there is no there is no um organization mm -hmm. that is coming in especially for you know to to to, to, to support uh, mcs mm -hmm. other than of course uh, youth agenda mm -hmm. they, they are doing a wonderful job okay. in uh, helping women to to unveil their their manifesto okay. and that is like the only help, help we have had so far mm -hmm. otherwise no other organization so has so come in to, to stand with us uh -huh. you're running on the goodwill of the people we are running on the goodwill of people All right we are running on empty <laughs> but I think as long as you have the people, sometimes that, especially that, in this that case, that's, true. The, that's a, that's a, that's that a is strength, true. right? Yeah, that is a strength. Okay. And I'm grateful to all my people out there who are saying, Mama Tosha, mm -hmm. we are going to stand with oh, you. Oh, Mama Tosha. Ah, yes. That is my <laughs> name. So what, what, is your what is your, what is your, your tag line? What do you use that? I normally see... Um, Yes, like, okay. no, for me it is Mama Tosha. Mama Tosha. I am more than enough for the work that is ahead of me. Okay. You're you're well and capable. Yes. To I deliver. Am. I am. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> sim super nakazi. No. Mama Tosha. <laughs> sour, sour. Yeah. So what can you say has been one of the most uh, life changing uh, experiences in your life that altered the road to the destiny? <laughs> yes. Or that has brought you to where you were today? Yeah. Mm. Um, I'll say that I am a, a wise woman. Mm -hmm. And I am seeing so much mm -hmm. that is not right. Mm -hmm. And it is about time that somebody stood up and said enough. Mm -hmm. We need to move forward, mm -hmm. but we need to move forward on a different timetable and on a different you know to, to charter a different path mm -hmm. that we are going to to to, to use mm -hmm. in order to get to where we want to get mm -hmm. because for a very long time there has been this uh issue of looking down on women mm -hmm. thinking women cannot do it thinking women are not strong Good enough or capable enough mm -hmm. to do it mm -hmm. you know we could be having challenges in our own homes but when we go out there, we are able to do the job that needs to be done and do it well. Mm. So I think that we need 
no, the world needs to look at women differently in a different light mm -hmm. a different dispensation yes a different dispensation okay we need to look at they need to look at us differently mm -hmm. because we are not our parents our parents raised us right and they raised us to know what is right and what is wrong mm -hmm. but we are here now and so much is wrong and we want to start making it right okay. and we are going to make it right okay is there anything that you're afraid of yes mm -hmm. I am afraid of failure oh. everyone is afraid of failure mm -hmm. and that is why you wake up every morning and you tell yourself today is my day and I'm going to do it and when evening comes mm -hmm. you find that you have actually done it and more mm -hmm. nobody wants to fail okay nobody wants to fail okay of course so if, if someone would have suggested to you 10 years ago that mm -hmm. uh you know what you should probably you'll join politics one day 10 years ago what would have been your answer to them i will have said hell no <laughs> <laughs> so being because a politician was never your ambition i was never interested in politics okay and the reason why was because you will hear even to date people saying politics is a dirty game mm. politics is terrible mm -hmm. you have to lie you have to cheat but you don't have to you have to be corny you don't have to okay in fact somebody the other day was saying why isn't this lot aggressive and i asked him what kind of aggression mm -hmm. are you looking for physical or what do i have to go out there and insult people mm -hmm. and cause violence to be seen to be aggressive i'm not going to do that mm -hmm. i want to be able to come and reason with you so that you are able to look at my point of view mm -hmm. and see whether it is the right way mm -hmm. or if it's not the right way we change it together mm -hmm. so that we are able to move forward together yeah M making sure that whatever we are doing mm -hmm. I it is the right and fair thing to do mm -hmm. not by violence mm -hmm. no so we are not going to go out there mm -hmm. and tear each other apart mm -hmm. and be nasty and behave horrid there's no reason for just violence. so that we are seen to be doing Aggressive something enough no that mm -hmm. is not aggression that is not that necessary. is stupidity that is not even necessary no. that is not right yeah yes yeah and that's why i'm saying that this lot of men and women who are coming in this time round into politics we are educated we are sincere we are honest and we walk the talk mm -hmm. and that is what this country needs in this moment in time mm -hmm. not people who are going to be to insult one another mm -hmm. not people who are going to show just how rich they are by you know buying votes mm -hmm. we are not doing that mm -hmm. we are going machinani we are talking to people one-on-one -on -one. we are understanding the challenges they are going through mm -hmm. and we are founding solutions mm -hmm. to those it's challenges that they are challenges. going to go through okay so 10 years ago you were not really into this politics not thing. at all so where did you the light bulb w when did that happen it was like you know what i'm, I'm going for this how when did that happen it happened when I knocked on numerous doors, mm -hmm. agitating to the powers that be that we need water. This water, this issue of depending on seasonal rains is not going to help us. Mm -hmm. In the end, we are going to have hunger. Mm -hmm. You can see now how much mm -hmm. we are going. I mean, hunger has become a, a rare commodity. Exactly. I saw hunger the other day. If the this had like if they had fantastic. listened to me yeah. 10 years ago mm -hmm. we will not be having challenges with so food security right now. because I said we can put up a water treat uh, treatment plant at Bonnie Nature Reserve and we can ha harvest the Indian Ocean water mm -hmm. using reverse osmosis so that we have we lay down pipes mm -hmm. uh, they go into the interior and we get water mm -hmm. we can use this water for planting crops and everybody is going to have water and everybody is going to be happy i even went as far as saying northeastern is a desert area and we can be able to remove the topsoil wash what is there with 
chemicals like nitrogen and other chemicals in there we don't want to go into chemistry mm -hmm. and then bring good fertile soil and lay it down there because we have the water we can do drip irrigation and we have food wow but nobody was interested in that okay. unfortunately so issues like that is what pushed you that is what now pushed you want me to look for a, a place and uh, a avenue where you can address where I can help issues. to implement policy okay. where I can lobby my fellow people mm -hmm. my, my, my fellow colleagues mm -hmm. so that we are able to implement this mm -hmm. for the good of our country fair enough fair enough so why should the people of South Sea elect you because I'm the right choice tell them <laughs> <laughs> my people South Sea I am the right people for uh, I am the right choice for you I know what you need. I have worked with you. I have spoken with you. I know what your challenges are. And I know that if you elect me, I am not going I am going to be not only be a good leader, but I am going to be someone that you can be able to talk with the way we have always spoken with, that I am somebody that you can be able um, to articulate your problems and that I am the person that will be able to solve those problems for you. And until next time, I am Miriam Ogutu. Thank you for watching.